what is up guys welcome back for another reaction of monster this is episode 23 and this episode is called Eva's confession so last time Lunge put up a trap for Tenma using this copycat murderer uh, as his staging ground uh, and it actually worked right because Tenma did show up uh, but Lunge didn't capture him he was close though but the copycat murderer got so pissed at Lunge that he actually ended up stabbing him and therefore Tenma getting away. Tenma though treating Lunga's wounds even though he is so convinced that it is Tenma that is the murderer, right? The alter, having an alter ego that he calls Johan. But guys, I'm very excited for this episode. So without further ado, let's go. Eva's confession, guys. Yeah, wake up. Let's see what it's about. Leave me alone. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Now get up. We can still do this the easy way. Come on, this isn't a hotel. Don't touch me. How dare you? She actually you ended up in prison. Idea who I am. But I mean, she did burn down her estate, all right. right? Here's all the stuff you came in with. If everything's in order, you can sign here. <laughs> Miss Heinemann, I don't ever want to see you tossed in the cooler again. Passing out drunk, alone in a dark alley. Be thankful something horrible didn't happen to you. Okay, so... You got a cigarette? So it wasn't huh? because of the burning of the stage. I'm just asking if you've got a cigarette. <sighs> There's no smoking in the station. Go outside if you want to smoke. So... I'm guessing she's coming clean about it, but we will see. It is Ava we are talking about. Don't pick that up. Please don't tell me you're not picking that up. Oh my god. Lighter. Where is my lighter? <laughs> she has fallen. Uh, my bag. I want to know what you did with my bag. And I already told you it's the only bag you had. You liar. I know you're not telling me the truth. I had another shoulder bag. Where is it? Probably with whoever stole it from you when you passed out drunk in the alley. What are you going to do about it? I had valuables, important things in there! I'll tell you what. You can fill out a theft report if you like. But I really wouldn't get your hopes up. Hmm, so it wasn't the police that took it? How the it? hell did you lose your keys? My bag was stolen last night. Just hurry up and open the room for me. What what happened here? Okay. Damn, somebody really went to town. Oh man, this is awful. I gotta change the lock now. Which reminds me, Miss Heinemann, you still owe me back rent. I don't want to have to ask you again. The deposit you put down has already run out. Hmm. I'm gonna need the rest of what you owe soon. These people even broke into my damn suitcase. Are you listening? You have to pay for a new lock Who and all that back rent. go after her? Like, I mean, it's not like she well, has I any don't have any money. valuables what? anymore, I guess, right? Fine, I'll get out. Don't worry. Such a tragic story. Still, I don't know what you expect me to do about any of it. You know, I seem to remember you being the one who stormed out on me. Oh, come on. That's all ancient history now. So why not buy me a drink? <laughs> and she's at it again. It's just a stolen purse, for God's sake. You must have had some extra cash tucked away somewhere. Honestly, I've yet to meet another woman who could burn through money the way you do. And here you are, finally coming to me for some cash. This is it. Welcome to rock bottom, baby. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Huh? I'll she's falling. You, you know. I'm asking you how much you'd be willing to pay. <laughs> My god. Honey, as a general rule, most men won't pay to have sex with women they've already had a bunch of times. You can at least buy me a drink. Go find yourself a street <laughs> corner to work. Who knows? You might get lucky and meet oh some god. sad sack who's not He's too literally picky. hinting at her becoming like... Lady, <clears throat> drunk must be someone's type. Yeah. Let's not say that word. Mm. 
<laughs> well, you will end up like that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm positive you didn't leave any purse here last night. Maybe you left it wherever you went next. I don't remember anything after I left this bar. You mentioned you had something important in your bag. If it's worth any money, you might as well kiss it goodbye. No, it's not. It's not worth anything at all. Hmm. Not any money, that is. That is, that is most likely the picture of her and Tenma, right? Hey, I've been looking for you. I asked for you at the pub back there, and they told me you just headed in this direction. Yeah, and who are you? Are you serious? We had such a good time drinking last night. I was drinking with you? Your bag. That's why I was looking for you. <sighs> I guess this means I have to make awkward introductions again. I'm Roberto. Uh, so, should there we, we grab go. a little something to eat? Your hotel room. Okay. That's terrible. I, I'm so sorry. Well, whatever. I mean, it's not like you did it. Well, no, obviously not. I didn't even dare look in your bag. Oh, look, my hotel keys are still in here. A little late for those. I don't need them anymore. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. If I'd returned your bag sooner, you wouldn't have been kicked what? out of your room. What do they want? Hey, with it wasn't either. your fault at all. Besides, I'm very grateful that you gave me back my bag. Honestly, I'm kind of grateful that you lost it. Huh? Well, last night as I watched you leave the pub, I sat there thinking to myself, you shouldn't let this person slip away. And now, thanks to your bag, here you are and here I am. Hmm. She's falling you have directly into his trap, today, right? You? I do. This is all that I have left in the world. Oh, a photo album. May I take a look? You may. Hmm. That's my father. He looks just like I imagined. He was a hospital director, right? Yeah, did I talk about him last night? You did. You spoke very highly of him. You mentioned that he died ten years ago. I could tell that you still miss him. Let's see. Ah, the ex-fiancé. Please, don't hmm. tell me I told you about him. I believe his name was Tenma? Quite a guy, this Tenma. Is it because they are looking for Tenma night. now, or...? Well, I wouldn't make a habit of it. It might end up making other men jealous. <laughs> huh? Odd, this page is empty. Is that so? The photos that were on this page, looks like somebody tore them out. Well, I guess I didn't need those pictures anymore. So I see. Hey. Hmm? Let's get a drink. Sounds good. Hmm. So, you were running a security company. I'm impressed. Yeah, in the south of France. And then we had a bad day, and one of our better clients was killed on my watch. So, that was the end of that. We're both going through tough times. Nah, forget it. Let's drink to the here and now. Enjoy ourselves, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, that song. It's good stuff, huh? So you like this song, too? Of course. Let's dance. <laughs> my god. <laughs> like, oh my god, I get to see the disaster happening here. Come on. Well, I don't really know how to dance. Just put your arms around me. Um. Good. I knew a man who loved this song. He wasn't a very good dancer either. So. Now you just need to move. Like this. That's right. <laughs> look, look at all the people dancing that is standing still in there. <laughs> How fun. How about another drink? 
Just one more? Thanks, but I'm good. <laughs> Lightweight. Time for bed. Sounds good to me, babe. Mm. <laughs> There's just one more thing I want to ask you. Yeah, here it comes. What's that? The pictures. Where are they? What pictures? Here it comes. <laughs> Don't play stuff! <laughs> Those photographs you took out of the album, where'd you hide them? Tell me. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Is Reality a check. A little secret. You're looking for Tenma, aren't you? <laughs> I know you kept those photos from burning, and I'm sure you have them with you somewhere. What? You're saying you know where Tenma is? Yeah. <laughs> the photographs that you're talking about They're the ones with father and that boy, am I right? Johan, wasn't it? <laughs> she is, I've seen him, you know She's real sick Long, charming, handsome He's grown up well I saw him a year ago in Dusseldorf Kenzo. Huh. Let's start over. You... You need me. Interesting, so... Kenzo. So that is like the second time they met or she tried to get back, right? You belong to me. I will get you back. Because you're mine. So what she saw him? Hmm. So, what are you up to these days? I've heard all sorts of rumors. The rumors are probably true. I've been married and divorced three times now. Between my father's inheritance and my alimony, I'm living pretty comfortably. But enough about me. How has life been treating you, Dr. Becker? Huh? I don't know. Well, nothing's changed with me. I still have no chance of moving up in the world. Speaking of which, Tenma's now chief of surgery. Word is he's on his way to becoming hospital director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love to be so in this issues, is why, let me while tell she you. was after but Tenma please, again, who right? Am I kidding? It ain't so bad. I still managed to have a good time. There's more to life than promotions. I'd never want to be like Tenma and have no time for women or fun. What's the point? Is Kenzo Do you know by any chance if Dr. Tenma ever did settle down? No, not yet. And to be completely honest, I've introduced him to quite a few very nice women. But you know him, no interest at all. His work comes first. As a matter of fact, I'm about to set him up with a new girl. God only knows if it's gonna work out. She's the daughter of a state senator, and she is absolutely beautiful. If she can't keep his attention, then I give up. But anyway, well, she called me about something. You know that. How can I be of service, Ava? You know? Back when you were the daughter of the hospital director, you never even gave me the time of day. Who would have thought that you'd even think to call? <laughs> I understand you're well off, but really, I think you're getting lonely, aren't you? I mean it when I say it, Ava. I'm more than happy to listen anytime. Look, I don't want you to let them meet up. Huh? Dr. Tenma and the state senator's daughter. Don't let him meet her. Man, I should have known. You're still in love with him. Don't let him. It's it's way more than that, like. She's literally obsessed with him. Like. Do me a favor, don't screw it up this time. I went out of my way to set this one up for you, Tenma. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Wow, she was actually following along there. Hmm? This is it. This is the clock that Mr. Junkers was talking about at the mm -hmm. hospital. So this is like one of the Excuse earliest me. episodes. Uh, about the clock. Hey, what's the going on? Uh, you're already late for your date. Uh, what? What are you doing? So he definitely was there because we knew we we know that he shot Junkers, right? 
So he, he was definitely there somewhere. That's a very beautiful watch. Oh, why, thank you. I mean, I wear a watch, but mine is nothing, a trinket. Honestly, I don't even check the time anymore. I wonder why. Time seems to be moving faster and faster. Um, excuse me, but who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't <laughs> mean just to just went rude, to the date but instead. are you Senator Berger's daughter, Angelica? Yes. Goodness, you're a pretty little thing. Well, aren't you? Uh, thank you, I think. Huh? <laughs> and you're convinced that the entire world revolves around you, am I right? Huh? <laughs> Going through life thinking that there's nothing you can't have. It must be very pleasant. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you trying to say? I'm confused. Ava, Who not, are you exactly? not everybody is as fucked up as you. I little birthmark on my inner thigh. Uh, he used to kiss it. How he used to love kissing me there. Dr. Tenma, that is. You know him? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no! See? See? She left because you were late. And it's all because you had to stop in that store. Oh, too bad. I'm sorry about that. She doesn't care. Can you do me a favor and apologize for me? Uh, oh, wait! Hey, Tenma! Maybe if you give her a call right now, uh, she might come back. Uh, who knows? I want to stop by the hospital for a quick minute. What? At this hour? Ah! I've had it with you! Fine. Leave. Kenzo. You're mine. You're all mine. But she Mr. wasn't Yonkers, there in that wait. episode. We didn't see her at all that time, I think, right? Mr. Yonkers! Kenzo, what's going on? Wait! Kenzo! I have to talk to you! Mr. She Yonkers! ran after him? broke my heel not for running <laughs> Kenzo <laughs> she heard the shots Saw him when he came down from there. Kenzo. Yes, a year ago in Dusseldorf, I saw him. 
It was Johan, I'm sure of it. So what? They just slept together? After he beat her? But of course, I guess some people are into that stuff. He saw Johan, huh? Guess I'll have to kill you. Oh shit! He's not gonna do it. I don't think he's gonna do it. Are we not gonna see it, of course? Typical. So there we have it, guys. That was the episode and um, Eva's confession. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how far this girl can actually fall, right? Like, I mean, she is pretty close to rock bottom, I would say. Uh, thinking like how from high, how high she fell, right? Uh, <laughs> Dave, like, I mean, she even slept with Roberto after he slapped the living shit out of her, right? And um, she, she definitely have some screws loose here. I have a feeling, I like, the whole episode ends with, like, Roberto pointing the gun at her, and I kind of have a feeling that he's not gonna kill her, since I feel like Ava is playing some sort of role in, in this show, like, I just cannot set, uh, put my finger on it, but she's definitely part of it. Uh, if she's gonna be important, or if she's just a side character, like an annoyance, right, that she's keep following Tenma around. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I think they put so much effort into her that I am pretty sure they're gonna keep her around. Uh, but we will see, of course. Um, but pretty crazy actually to find out that she was there the night that Johan showed himself for um, for Tenma and killed Jungers, right? So yeah, crazy. Uh, actually, cr even crazier that it looked like Johan saw Ava and didn't do anything about it, or maybe it was just like you know the camera showing his face so Ava could see it, right? Um, I even think maybe Roberto is sitting there thinking, is it worth killing her? Is it needed, right? Like, it looks like he is, I, I feel like it looked like he was a little bit in doubt there, but we will see, right? Uh, but um, I hope Johan is coming to the picture very soon, because we saw him this time, right? Briefly, but it was, you know, kind of not a new seeing right because it's it's the same situation we saw him in the first time we ever saw Johan right so I feel like we need some new <laughs> new happenings here right but anyway guys thank you for watching thank you for following as always please leave a like I would appreciate it so much see you next time peace